So here, AP Calculus AB, we're asked to find the equation of a line that is tangent to the function and parallel to the, <laughs> if I could spell given, parallel to the given line. And here's the given line. First thing I'm going to do is this. Um, first thing I'm going to do is find the first derivative here. And the first derivative here is f prime at x is equal to 3x squared. So this is one little fact that we're going to need. So I got that piece put aside. And then I'm going to put, you don't have to do this, but for me, it helps. I'm going to solve this equation for y, and we'd get y is equal to 3x plus 1, wouldn't we? Okay? So how does that help us? Well, I know that we know that the slope of this line is 3, 3. So what we want to know is when is f prime at x? When is the slope of this function up here? equal to 3. So I'm going to say f prime at x is 3. And when is 3 equal to 3x squared? Divide both sides by 3. We get 1 equals x squared. We get x is equal to the x is equal to the square root of 1. So x is equal to plus or minus 1. When all right, you with me so far? Okay. Now what we want to know is this is when this function, that's what, this is when this function has a slope of 3. So this is what we want to do now. We want to set this up in slope intercept form, which is, I'm sorry, in, in point slope form, which is y minus y sub 1 is equal to m, the slope, times x minus x sub 1. Well, when this function has a value of x value of 1, we plug that in here, we get 1 cubed is also 1. So we can simply do this. We can do y minus this one right here is equal to, we know the slope is 3 because we want a parallel line, so 3 x minus, and we know the x value is also 1. Now you can finish up the algebra here if you want to. And that's, that's absolutely fine. Maybe we should do that. But so far, we only worked out when x is positive 1, didn't we? But this time, in this case, we have two parallel lines. So we have y, right? Now we have to do the negative 1, negative 1. So my, y minus minus 1 is equal to 3 times x minus minus 1 because when x is negative 1, well, negative 1 cubed is still negative 1. So we get negative negative is positive here. Negative negative is positive here. And uh, on most tests, you can leave it that way. On almost all tests, you can leave it this way. You can just move this over and say y is equal to 3 times x plus 1 minus 1. And this minus 1 is just me moving this 1 over right here. All right, so I hope that was really helpful. There's no way you get through the AP exam and you don't see that. And I try to remind everybody, when you're taking the AP Cal exam, AB, you got to get the easy ones too. You got to get them all. So you got to make sure we get the easy pieces in the basket. So here are our two equations. The first one is this one. The second one is this one. I think I'm going to do one more video on this just to make sure that we have this. So hope this was helpful. Uh, if you haven't already subscribed, please subscribe, and your comments are always welcome. I try to respond as quickly as possible. Thanks. No, seriously.